Hola. So with this card that I made and did a video on already, it is a size that won't fit in your conventional envelope. So I have to make one of my own. So let me show you something. I get my junk out of the way. I have, what is this called? The enveloper. It looks like this. And then I have this book that comes with it. And so I, because the card is almost like a six by six square, on this thing, I need to score on lines F and F. That was an easy one to remember. And so you cut your paper to nine and five eighths both ways, nine and five eighths square. And then, when you're putting the paper, and I probably should have showed you because, but I did it wrong anyway, I would have confused you. You lay your paper, see how you have this corner here? But there's like a little edge and I did it wrong, I did it off of that edge. And that's really like where the card goes that fits for the envelope on the higher edge. So you would put your paper like this and then you'd find your F and score. And then you turn it all the way to the other side. 180 degree, I guess you'd say, and do that. And then, so you would have on all four sides your score lines. Now, I messed up, so I have more score lines than I should have, but it'll give you the idea. And then where the score lines meet, I cut that little triangle so that it'll fold better. So you go to all where the score lines meet and cut out that little diamond. And I want this design to be up. So I'm folding it down this way. And then you put your tape right on the edge here so that it closes and then you put a tape but you don't you don't take the part that covers it you leave it until you're going to actually use the envelope so you would leave that that paper on there and okay so See, now it's not right in the middle, so that's sort of goofy looking. Am I folding it the right way? Oops, excuse me. Okay, when I have it on the right folded line, then it see it's right in the middle. So it'll open like that, have those closed, and in the front. And then this fits in it just fine. So see, when you make odd shape cards it's nice to have an enveloper and you also have on the Martha Stewart score scoreboard that where you can make envelopes too but since I already bought this before I bought my Martha Stewart I'm making use of it <laughs> okay well I just wanted to share that to show you that some cards we're gonna have to make our own envelopes and I hope you'll join along and make cards too and you never know when I might just decide I'm gonna do a giveaway so I'm not gonna tell you when and I'm not gonna tell you what video but just keep watching okay all right thank you so much <laughs>